Hello and welcome to the Web and Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Amazon has acquired the Middle Eastern e-commerce site Souk.com. Russian e-commerce is booming and Walmart has increased its stake in the Mexican e-commerce market. Amazon has confirmed that it successfully acquired the Middle Eastern e-commerce site Souk.com. Souk is the largest e-commerce site in the Middle East and sells a large range of products including electronics, household items and clothing. Sometimes referred to as the Amazon of the Middle East, Souk will now give Amazon a full infrastructure which will enable it to successfully serve the region soon. Amazon's senior vice president said that the acquisition would provide the best possible service for millions of customers in the Middle East by adding Amazon resources to Souk's already popular platform. Meanwhile, Souk's CEO said that the company now plans to grow its delivery capabilities and customer selection. The Middle East and the e-commerce market was worth an estimated 20 billion US dollars in 2016 and has a rapidly growing internet population. The Russian e-commerce market is booming, having grown by 20% in 2016. Research from the Association of Online Retail Companies has forecast that the market is expected to continue that growth throughout 2017 going from its current value of 14.8 billion euros to 16.15 billion euros by the end of the year. International sales from outside Russia now account for 6% of all purchases, a 37% growth in cross-border e-commerce over one year. The research also found that Chinese consumers buy from Russian sellers more than any other country, representing 90% of all global sales. The most popular e-commerce site in Russia was named as AliExpress, which sees approximately 22 million unique visitors each month, 13 million more than the second-placed site Ozon.ru. Walmart has made steps to increase its investment in the Mexican market. The new plans include developing its existing infrastructure in the country and the introduction of new e-commerce initiatives, although these are yet to be specified. Total investment in Walmart's Mexican arm has been announced to be worth around 860 million US dollars throughout 2017, 20% more than last year's investment. The move to develop its presence in Mexico comes just after the e-commerce giant Amazon announced a range of new schemes in the market. These include the launch of Amazon Prime, which may cause Walmart to lose customers to the service's faster speed of delivery. Currently, both companies hold around the same share of the Mexican e-commerce market at around 5.5%. Tencent has invested in the Chinese photo and video app Kuazhou. The investment is thought to be worth around 350 million US dollars, meaning that Tencent now has a strong foothold in the fast-growing mobile streaming market. Data collected by Quest Mobile shows that on average, Chinese mobile app users spent more than 340 minutes on Kuazhou in December 2016, making it the 11th most popular app in the country. Kuazhou is particularly popular in rural areas of China after its launch in 2011 saw it target less urbanized areas than its competition. It's reported that Tencent will try to use this rural success to tap into these areas with its other products. And finally, Samsung has launched a new contactless payment system that will combine multiple existing digital payment platforms. Using the motto, Digital Cash for Everyone, the service, which is called the Contactless Companion Platform, users will be able to use any contactless payment devices, such as a card, phone or watch, to make a purchase. Yoksuchi from Samsung said that the system enhances the quality of day-to-day -day life and takes the payment industry well beyond the many boundaries of what exists today. And that's all from me today. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out our Catch-Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos and more. See you next time.